Greetings, Fizzles family and friends. This is the daily pastoral message for Thursday, July 30th. And today I'm coming to you from outside of my office, standing in the Sunday school room to show you the thermostat for the air conditioning here in the Sunday school room. And so even though we haven't been able to utilize the air conditioner in the sanctuary, because we're not having worship services in there during the COVID outbreak, and we haven't been able to have church events down to enjoy the air conditioning in the dining area. Linda and I are very appreciative that the air conditioning is on here in the educational wing. And so we've been able to work in comfort while the temperature has been so hot lately. And so I thank the congregation for your generosity as we continue to pay our portion of the air conditioning and look forward to when we can fully utilize it as we return to full utilization of our lovely church facilities. For our reflection today, I'm coming to you again with a UCC Still Speaking Daily Devotional. This is today's Daily Devotional written by Reverend Lillian Daniel, a UCC pastor and author. And it's a lighthearted one today. So every now and then we need something that's a little bit lighthearted, particularly to get us through tough times. And so the title of her reflection, her devotion today is called Scammers versus Holy Spirit. Her scriptural text is Matthew 10, 16. See, I am sending you out like, wo like sheep into the midst of wolves. So be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. And then her devotion. Let me begin by saying, please do not send me any $400 gift cards. I mention this because recently hundreds of people received a fake email that purported to be from me, but in reality was the work of an anonymous scammer trying to separate good-hearted folks from their money. Apparently, this gift card hoax was has happened to many other pastors and congregations. There are versions of the scam where the email appears to have come from your boss at work or an emergency phone call pretends to be on behalf of a family member in trouble while traveling. So what is the moral of the story? Don't buy gift cards for anyone who is not on your Christmas list. That email scam really dimmed my spirits for a few days. But then I thought about all the people who are using technology for good things, like teaching, learning, loving, and worshiping during COVID-19. During the pandemic, there have been so many shining examples of goodness via technology in our churches and beyond. For every scammer, there are a thousand more people who are staying connected with God and each other, no matter what the distance. So don't let the sleazy scammers get you down, my dear church family. The Holy Spirit is much more powerful. And yes, this devotional really is for me. No, really it is. Honestly, I can prove it. I'll go get my credit card, and in the meantime, my social security number is and Lillian's prayer. Dear God, grant me the wisdom as well as innocence in the wilds of this technological world. Amen. And so, yes, the pandemic has been trying for all of us, and we all long for some return of normality, some turn, return of being able to go back to work, go back to school like the way things were and we also realize that it's going to be a long time if ever that things are just the way they were and that is something that needs to be prayed for needs to be grieved over and we need to then continue to move forward to find our new normal our new ways of relating and we thank god i thank god as lillian daniels does that the technology is there to help us stay connected. The technology used in beneficial ways as a key part of keeping our connections together in society in general and as our congregation. And so we thank God for the presence, the utilization of technology. We're using technology here at New Hope more than we ever have. 
and we will continue to use it even when we return to more normal, whatever our new normal is. Let us pray. O oh God of all creation, we thank you for your presence with us in this trying time, and we thank you for the inspiration that has inspired technological advances that allow us to stay in communication with each other during this time of social separation and distancing. We thank you, O oh Lord, that technology is one of the gifts, one of the tools that allows us to remain connected as a church family, knowing that we remain connected to you through the Holy Spirit, that we feel in our hearts and our souls, and that we touch through prayer, through meditation, and through knowing that we are stronger together through your love. Bind us together. Keep us together in this time. Help us, O oh Lord, to continue on the paths of discipleship. All these things we pray, even as we continue to remember and pray for those suffering due to the pandemic. For we know you are a healing God, and so send your healing spirit to all in need. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'll be coming to you again tomorrow, Friday, and on Saturday with daily messages, and then look forward to our communion worship on Sunday. Uh, if you would like, you can uh, take communion through the little celebration cups that we started using last month, uh, or you may bring your own uh, elements, your bread, your wine, your juice, uh, to take communion uh, with those. We'll consecrate and bless all elements during the service. Also, please remember to bring your school supplies and backpacks for our blessing of the backpacks. And we start our Fizzles Feeds 5000 food drive on Sunday. And please bring your food donations. In my email today, I'll explain that uh, cash donations are also appreciated or check donations. And the details on that will be present, as I said, in the email. So until we talk tomorrow, stay safe, stay healthy, stay strong. Don't get scammed, but God through the Holy Spirit is continuing to bless us all. Goodbye for now.